Well, the latest update on inflation shows consumer prices rose a bit more last month than economists expected. The consumer price index rose 3.2 percent in the year ending in February, stronger than forecast and up from January. Core inflation on an annual basis, excluding food and energy, rose 3.8 percent, which is an improvement from 3.9 percent in January. But economists were forecasting a bigger improvement. Now, despite high food costs nationwide, a number of new restaurants are popping up all across our region. This, as others, are shutting their doors. WFXR's Rian Lowne spoke with the owners about why they're optimistic. Roanoke's long-awaited rooftop restaurant launching Tuesday. Six and Sky serving seafood atop the center in the square downtown. Look at ourselves as the cherry on the top. Jojo Soprano is co-owner. He says he's excited to bring a new experience to the Star City, while experts like Dr. Nancy Hubbard with the University of Lynchburg's College of Business says now it is a tricky time for new businesses to take off. A lot of people are feel really feeling a squeeze with interest rates and uh, inflation. So we're, they're, we're finding that people are not eating out at restaurants as much. You may be able to uh, have, a, have a wow factor or an interest factor to get people through the door. The issue then is that you want them to come back. I think the view speaks for itself. <laughs> we get our seafood in fresh daily. We want you to feel like you're at the beach eating, but yet you've got this beautiful atmosphere here in downtown Roanoke. This whole concept is kind of new to, to Roanoke. Marcus Ballinger opened Surreal Coffee Truck three weeks ago. Originally about 65 pounds to open the shop, uh, and we had some like in storage and everything uh, just in case, and we've completely went through, the, through that uh, way shorter time than we expected. He's tackling the current economic environment by adapting his Franklin Road coffee truck to his audience, like making changes to his hours. He's also locking in to the local network. Our social media response has been really good, though. Um, I mean, we're, we're close to 1,000 followers already on Instagram, and we, like I said, we just started up three weeks ago, so that's been amazing. Uh, we've had some other local businesses and everything uh, repost us, and we, we're trying to be interactive with the community and other small businesses as much as we can. Even decade-old businesses are taking on the economic environment to make fresh starts. Lynchburg favorite El Jefe Taqueria announced they were closing Tuesday, but promising it's to make way for an exciting new concept in the future. In Roanoke, Green Lounge, WFXR News.